Attention, and now, this is the material we're working on in weeks four, five, and six in the intermediate class. So let's work on the rest of the blocks of the star block set. So attention and bow. Horse riding stance loud, yep. So in weeks one, two, and three, we already reviewed the high block, the inside block, and the down block. So the next one we're working on is the outside block. So make your fist, reach it all the way across by your other hand. Now I've got to block my middle, so I've got to sweep the arm in front of my body like this. When it's done, it should stop about in front of my shoulder. It doesn't have to go further than that. And when I block, I've got to turn my fist so I block with the bone. Now, one common mistake I notice is that people keep it in really close, but actually it's in front of you a little bit. If you saw me from sideways, it looks like this, almost like a 90 degree bend or like a square or a box. So it should be there not, not really, really close like this. So anyway, so it starts by my hand, sweeps across the front, snap at the last moment, so I block with the bone. It should stop just about in front of my shoulder. So ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Opposite hand, same thing. Start the palm down by my other hand, sweeps across in front, snap at the last moment, so stops in front of my shoulder. And if you looked at me sideways, this should be a little bit of a bend in the elbow, maybe like 90 degrees, or we could say the corner of a box. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the last technique in the star block set is the push block. So imagine you're blocking with this palm heel and I'm pushing straight down. So if a, if a punch can reach me and if I change the angle of it, now it becomes short and it misses. So my hand starts at my hip and just push it straight down, blocking with the palm heel. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Same thing with the other hand, pushing down with the palm heel. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Return. Attention and bow. Now, in uh, class, we're also working on hook kicks yet. So the best thing is always to do the warm up. So we'll start on the ground. Uh, warm up round number one is actually a side kick from the ground. Hook kicks are actually very similar to side kicks. So make sure your knee goes in and out to do a really good side kick. Here we go, ready? One, two, just warm it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite leg, same thing. Ten really good side kicks. Here we go, one, just warm it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Opposite leg. This time, shoot and hook. So start with your foot, toes pointed. Shoot and then hook at the last moment. Ready? One, shoot and hook. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Opposite leg, same exact thing. Shoot and hook, point your toes, ready, one. Shoot and hook and reach, two. Reach as far as you can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. The last warm up is hook kick from standing, but we'll do that against the speed paper. So let's say Mr. Lemke is gonna be my partner. So that'll be our last warm up, and then after it, we'll do the new kicks for the weeks four, five, six. So, all right, so Mr. Lemke is my partner. So, he's gonna hold the target out. So, to do a really good hook kick, you've got to first pivot so your butt faces the target, kind of like we do with the side kick. Pull your knee back like a side kick, shoot, and then hook at the last moment. So, I'll just do five each leg, and then I'll let you pause to finish and do some more. So, ready? One. I'm kicking higher. Okay, good. Yes. Awesome. Actually, it's pretty good. Okay, let's try the other leg. And here we go. One, two. This 
leg tonight is flexible. Three. Well, it's okay though. Four. One more time. Five. Awesome. You should pause the video. Do 10 on each side. If you got a speed paper at home or something you can hit, a piece of cardboard or something, uh, practice on that. Now, the next kick is called spin hook kick. Now, if I was going to rename it, I would say turn halfway and look hook kick. So this is how it works. We start in our guard stance. Literally, you turn halfway and you look and you stop right there. Now you notice my hips are looking towards the target. Then I do the hook kick. When you're done, you actually go back the way you came. Now sometimes when people hear the word spin, they think like spin a circle. Now if you try to do it like that, it'll look like this, where you kind of keep your balance. So you should only spin halfway and look and stop. Then shoot it in real straight and then do your hook. So turn, look, shoot it straight in. Because now look, I still have balance and it's easy to turn back. Two. And then turn back. Three. And turn back. Four. How about one more? Five. Let's try the other leg. Let's see how this one goes. Turn halfway and look and stop. Hips are facing the target. Do the kick. And when you're done, you got to come back. Ready? One. And then come back. Two. And then come back. Three. Four. How about one more? Five. Awesome. Pause the video. Five with each leg forward. Now the next kick is for the adults. It's called a hook roundhouse kick. So it's a hook kick followed up with a roundhouse kick at the end. So if I do a normal hook kick, I start pivot, I shoot a hook. And when you're done, do a roundhouse kick, okay? This is for adults. Kids can do this too if they like to. Okay, ready? Boom. Just like that. Two. This paper doesn't want to increase. Three. There it is. This kick is powerful. Four. It's kind of like one on each side of the face. Kind of like that. And five. Awesome. Other leg, same thing. Pivot, shoot, hook. When you're done, out. This roundhouse can go in the other direction, ready? One. Two. Three. Four. How about one more? Five. Awesome. Pause the video. Ten hook round kicks with each leg in front. The last kick is for kids only, so adults, please don't do this one. This one's called spin whip kick. This is actually a full circle. The reason adults don't do it is because it could be a little bit more dangerous on a knee since you're doing a full circle. All spin kicks, you should pivot on the balls of your feet. This is really important. So this one's for kids only. So yeah, so I'm going to turn and look. Just like we did spin hook, you kick it, but when you're done, you actually go around in an entire circle. So here you go, kids only. Here we go, one. Some of you may have done this by accident on the spin hook kick. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. All right, try not to be too dizzy. Now you gotta go the other direction, same idea. Turn, look, hook. When you're done, you go all the way around in an entire circle, ready? One. Almost lost my balance. Two. Three. Four. How about one more? Five. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Lemke. So pause the video for kids only. Ten spin whip kicks with each leg forward. Let's finish with punches. Attention about horse riding stance. Loud. Yep. Hand in front for karate punch. Ready? One. 